project today. Started a little bit yesterday, but the real business get took them care of today. Got to break into that crankcase and get that timing chain open so we can replace the oil pump in the timing chain. Still got a quite a ways to go. Take out that uh, power steering, AC, pull that flywheel, and valve covers. She's a beast. That should be running tip top when we're done. Stay tuned. All right, fellas, I'm back. This is what the damage is. This was crazy big got down to our actual culprit of what we were intending on doing was the oil pump and timing chain. So the timing chain looked like it wasn't actually the main problem because we had failure here. All these pieces, it looked like we had some rubbing. This was the passenger side. It looked like we had some clogged lines. This one here was starting to give a little bit. This one broke right here. This one here was clogged up as well. I, I don't know about this uh, gear right here, the sprocket. The one I knew when I got, it's together. And this one here is split. I, I don't know what to say about that. And this big boy, this is the oil pump. I don't know chain came off and started eating into it crazy I can't really tell if the pump is good or not but this is probably the original pump that came with the truck so this truck probably got close to 350 you know I know a guaranteed 300,000, that's for sure. I've had the truck for 10 years and I had, shoot, at least 220 on it when I bought it. You know, I, I, I put the hammer down. Now the chain doesn't look too bad, but I, I definitely know it's been eating because you can look at the oil pump, you can look at some of the, um, the guides. And oh yeah, yes, this one here too. Oh my God. This is the actual um, um, timing flywheel. This is where the timing uh, signal, it pings off of. I mean, it ate it up. I don't know if that's good or not, but it is, it's pretty crazy on that part. But this is what all the damage was to take off everything. Let's go check the engine. This is what she looks like. Timing, I mean, the valve cover's off. This is what it looks like down up in there. Pickup, I mean, the oil pickup line, that's the crankshaft. All of that was pretty gunked up, too. But we on the way down now. Everything I have to just put back now. All right, guys. Good afternoon, guys. This is Bill with Grass. Well, I got all my timing chain stuff done yesterday. But today, um, after I got everything done, I found out that my oil pressure was still dropping. It was still, you know, going down. I couldn't figure out why. So I said the oil pan must be the problem, and boy, it is. All kind of sediments and crud. I mean, it's just crazy thick. All of this, so I gotta clean out everything, but the biggest problem was my pickup tube. It was just completely, look, it's got all kind of stuff in there. Look like metal, plastic, uh, everything. But then I found all of these pieces in there too. 
So I gotta do a real heavy cleaning on this before I can put it back in. So I did the time and training the oil pump, but the time and training needed to be done. So no biggie on that, but this was my problem to begin with. All right, guys. Alright guys, we're back with the clean oil pan this time. Went inside. Cleaned out everything. Cleaned up the seal. Let me show you on the truck what it looks like. That's how I got it jacked up on the actual pulley, the crank. I actually jacked it up on the transmission to get it into position. And I just need to put it back now. Took off the door. Let's see if you can see. Right there, that's the actual mounting bolts. That's the ones we took loose to lift the motor up. All right, guys.